In summer 2013, a massive 50-foot magnet made its way from Brookhaven, New York to Fermilab in Batavia. The five-day and 3,200-mile journey was just the first step in the Muon G-2 experiment. One year later, the Muon G-2 moved into its new home, a building perfectly outfitted to house the magnet. And now the magnet has been powered up and researchers are prepping it for the final experiment. It's, it's super exciting right now uh, because we finally have an opportunity to start looking at a magnet's performance and get it into shape so that it's ready for, uh, for physics in 2017. Currently, the team is working to regulate the magnetic field within the magnet to one one billionth in order to detect the spin of a muon, a small particle. And the way we do that is we have a magnetic field and we measure the perturbation on that magnetic field caused by the muon particle, a single particle. It's really small. It's a really, really, really small perturbation. Mm -hmm. um, and so you need to know the field that precisely in order to see what the particle does to the field. This testing will lead up to the main purpose of moving the magnet, discovering new particles in the universe. And we're trying to get a basic understanding of the building blocks of nature. We have lots of hints that there should be other particles out there that we haven't seen yet, and now we're looking here to see if we can see them here. The final experiment is slated to start in 2017 and will take three nine-month-long tests to determine the measurement of a muon and if new particles are found. This is a really um, unique experiment, I think, in that we're guaranteed a result. So at the end of our three years of data taking, we will have measured the magnetic moment of the muon. That's going to be, you know, what we set out to do, mission accomplished. So we will measure it. Mm -hmm. The more exciting thing is that if that number is different from what the theorists tell us it should be, then there's something really interesting in the physics going on. That interesting phenomenon in physics could mean something big for the scientific community. We understand an enormous amount of, of the physical world around us. Um, but, but we know there's more, and so that's really the goal. I mean, that's, that's why I'm in this field, is that we might be a part of, of something new and something revolutionary. In the last 100, 120 years or so, there's been enormous advances in physics, um, and so to be a part of that, I mean, that's, you know, that's a, a life goal.